Hey guys, how are you going? Today we're going to talk about uh, in a quadratic equation or parabola, how do you find the y coordinate given the x coordinate? So uh, by the time you get to this tutorial, you should already know a little bit about quadratic equations. So let's define a quadratic equation right now. y equals uh, x squared plus 5x plus 6. And in this quadratic equation, uh, let's graph this equation straight away. So uh, let's get your um, Graphmatica out and let's just type that equation into Graphmatica. So y equals x to the power of 2 plus 5x plus 6. Notice that to the power of you get this symbol up by pressing shift 6 and that'll get the to the power of symbol. So you can see that our graph is right here. So from the graph uh, we can pretty much answer the question straight away that if I tell you what an x coordinate is you can tell me what the y coordinate is. So uh, for example I want to know when x equals negative 4 what is the y coordinate on this graph so if we have a look at the graph when x is equal to negative 4 which is right here horizontally when x is equal to negative 4 y is equal to 2 so we can see that y is equal to 2 when x is equal to negative 4 so we can answer that question straight away from the graph uh, y equals negative 4 sorry y equals a 2 what was it? So let me look at it again. Um, y equals 2. So it's very obvious when you have the graph in front of you. Uh, however, the graph doesn't solve it to the exact value because if I want to know when x is equal to negative 3.8, what's y? And using a graph, it's kind of hard to tell where 3.8 is exactly. And then once, even if you get it down to exact 3.8, it's hard to know what the y coordinate is uh, as well. So even though you can get a rough idea of the x and the y values, it's not uh, exactly accurate. It's not the best, it's not the most accurate way. So this is when we can use algebra to help us. So we know the equation is y equals x squared plus 5x plus 6. So all we have to do is substitute the number negative 3.8 into our equation, into our equation where x is, substitute it in, and that will give us an exact answer for what y equals. So negative 3.8 squared plus 5 times uh, negative 3.8 plus 6. So put that in your calculator and you should get the answer. So negative 3.8 oops my calculator. So negative 3.8 squared uh, what was it plus 5 times negative 3.8 and plus 6 so the answer is uh, negative 27.44 probably tell that's not right straight away from the graph and uh, so that is because something went wrong with our calculation so let's try that again um, let's try bracket negative 3.8 squared um, to the power of 2 uh, 
plus 5 times 3.8, negative 3.8, sorry, um, plus 6, 1.44, that looks about right, as you can see from our graph. Uh, when x is negative 3.8, y is about 1.44. So you can sort of tell by moving the cursor around on the graph. Actually, it says when x is negative 3.8, yes, y is about 1.44. So y is 1.44 okay so that's the end of this section of the tutorial find the y coordinate given the x coordinate now in the next lesson we're going to talk about how to find the x coordinate given the y coordinate see you then